All right, gang, Jason here for the love of trackers, and I'm with a brand new tracker. The Alice Chalmer 8070 from Ertl, and this is the National Farm Toy Museum tracker uh, for 2022. I was about to say this year, <sighs> this year's gone. Wow, 2022 is gone. We are on to 2023. And I also have a um, best tractor of the year, best farm toy of the year video uh, coming soon, maybe not this first week, but maybe the second week of the month. So, uh, hope you look forward to that. I'm looking forward to doing it. Uh, I've already recorded at least half of it. So, um, just kind of got to finish it up and work on that other half. In the meantime, let's check this puppy out. I'm actually going to, uh, work some computer magic here and I'll get this opened up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, there it is out of the box. In fact, I probably get you a little bit better look at this, huh? Just like that. Nice looking tractor. I um, I thought about getting a couple of these to customize one, but at the end of the day, I don't have a ton of time to do much customizing for myself, at least not until uh, Lafayette's over. So I've got a good solid two and a half months uh, where customizing for myself is probably not going to happen. Uh, I've got some customer builds to get taken care of, and then I have to get some Lafayette stuff built. So uh, hopefully have some neat stuff and some surprises for you guys there. In the meantime... This 8070 from Ertl. I do have to say, I like the rear wheels and tires on that. They just look pretty good. They're kind of beefy, nice duels. Got the insert in there, uh, so you've got some detail. The front, um, you know, they're okay. They're okay. I'm, I'm not the, uh, the front wheel assist on this. Not great, not terrible. So I'm not going to really knock it too much. The rest of this tractor looks excellent. Paint is excellent on it. Decaling is excellent on it. I think they really did a fantastic job on that. And then um, I do like the exhaust here with the cap. Of course, it doesn't move or anything like that. It is plastic, but it doesn't look that plastic to me. So it kind of makes me wonder if they painted it or something along those lines. Uh, anyway, looking really good. You do get the weights up front, kind of tucked up under there. Those look sweet. And that grill, fellas, that's a real grill. That is not a decal. That is a grill insert, so always appreciate that effort there. That looks really nice. And then, uh, so do the work lights up top here. Those look fantastic. They look great uh, up in there. You do get a couple grab handles here on the side of the cab. I don't know how well those are showing up on the camera here, but they're pretty nice looking, I think. Uh, that looks pretty good. Coming around, one of the things you will notice is all of the black painting around the windows really makes the windows pop. Really looks excellent on that. Um, I suppose this is maybe supposed to be a handle, or maybe this is a you know a, a separate pane of glass. I'm not sure. Uh, not uh, in person familiar with the 8070 Alice Chalmer. This just don't see a lot of those around to here. Um, I wish we could. I would love to love to drive one someday, but you know how that goes. Moving around to the back, we've got the really cool Alice Chalmer sticker across the back windshield. That looks neat, I think. That really sets that tractor off. I really think that makes a pop on that back end. Looks great. And then again, excellent light detail up here from the flashers there on the outsides to your work lights there on the insides. Absolutely uh, crisp and fantastic looking. Um, probably where I've heard the most people complain, and I get it, is this rear hitch area. So Ertl has decided to go with a more realistic hitch on their kind of, um, I don't know if I want to call them show tractors, but they're a museum and farm show, farm toy show tractors. Uh, the 8960 had it, this 8070 Alice Chalmer has it, and boy has it made people grumble. And I get it, because you do want to hook your implements up to this, but <laughs> considering Ertl doesn't make a lot of implements, I actually kind of appreciate the, uh, the attempt at realism here. Now this three point without a quick hitch in particular uh, is kind of okay. It does move up and down. It just seems bulky to me. Uh, and then particularly the rivets really stand out. I almost wish they could have just painted those black or something, but I get it. That's a little more labor cost and all that stuff. So I, I understand. And um, this is already like a $25, $30 tractor pretty close. So, mm, you know, <laughs> I, I, uh, I get it. But, um, Interior does look very nice on this, and we get a rear st real steering wheel, folks. Uh, sorry if I kind of misenunciated there, but there we go. I can kind of see it there. We do get the real thing. Gone is the flat disc, so thank you, Ertl, for that. Um, it's just the little things like that that really add to tractors, I think. And you can see over here we do have 
your door latch painted in silver. So that's pretty cool too. All in all, okay, it's 25 or 30 bucks. Um, 10 years ago, we'd have threw a fit about that, right? But it's 2023 now, and we just know tractors are becoming more expensive. I Trust me, every show I've been to in the last six months, I've heard it from somebody about uh, how they're pricing people out of the market and uh, people can't collect as much as they used to, and it's hard for young collectors to get into this, and I agree, 100%. But it's also not not necessarily controllable by Ertl, because as you know with everything, the prices are going up, and it's just the way it's going to be, unfortunately. And, um, you know, even, even myself, I've made a conscious decision of only buying certain things instead of kind of, I don't know, <laughs> collecting in bulk like I used to. Uh, I've really gotten more picky with my collection, so um, this is one that's going to go in the collection, obviously. Uh, I do like the museum trackers in general. I like to support the museum when I can in general. I think it's a pretty awesome thing uh, for the farm toy world. And um, I love me some AC, so particularly these 80s, 70s, I always thought looked pretty cool. So anyway, that'll do it, guys. Wow, that's ran almost six and a half minutes long. I apologize for rambling on that long, but I do hope you enjoyed the review video here and i hope you got to come out and enjoy the richmond show which is where i picked this up if not we'll see you at either moscow mills missouri here in a few weeks or uh the quincy illinois show or lafayette indiana in march so that's kind of our next three or i'm heading to st louis i'm not going to set up but if you want something from me i can always bring it down to you and um if you uh see me wandering the halls hallways please say hi i always would appreciate that i always love talking tractors and so Guys, have an awesome day as always. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And happy tractor hunting.